Good day guys, come here, welcome back to Langriza 6.0 and don't have to worry, this part of the video is definitely shorter than the previous one featuring Dragon Mom because, um, long story short, she is just that um, better and more flexible than him in most generic case. So as usual, we will go to the character's class faction, quick go to on the Tanlin for the exclusive skills please um kindly watch back the previous video that i have posed then we're followed by the character's voice 3c animations character's class and um overall character design illustration appreciation then um character's animations then followed by the demo play and last but not least would end with the build and enchantment about the characters. So are you guys ready? Let's get started. So featuring Dragon Mom. Oh sorry, I um sorry, wrong characters. Um featuring Jace aka um Jessica Otter or as fans like to call. You do not lie to us, you are hiding in disguise. So as you can see, um one of his classes, Mage, is from Origin of Light, Yellows, and Mythical Realm, and this means he is able to receive the 3C faction bar from ISO Dead. However, the downside is that um, there's a high chance he won't be able to enjoy the 15% close range buff damage from her because um, while he's a Mage, there's Literally, um, almost no chance that you will be standing very close to enemy. So okay, um, it's class. So you can see the design. This is generic class. It seems like those on um, mage warrior like armor. Then his great, greater mage path. Then followed by his wizard path. So this is build getting all the upgrades from his staff but not his hairstyle then his holy apostle puff second puff and uh, sorry, second class and third class so no change on movement and as usual it seems based on what is shown here it seems like the mage class should be enjoying uh, slightly more or higher intelligence though i may be wrong then okay moving to his talent so hopes of full traveling so increase intelligence by 20 percent then when you end your turn all the blocks that you are currently standing will obtain um Arcane Glow Mark, aka AGM, then this terrain will gain a terrain command aura effect that affect two blocks with the following effect. If it's allies two blocks around it, they will have their intelligence and attack increased by 10%. Then if it's enemies standing two blocks around the terrain, they will have magic defense reduced by 10 percent this effect lasts for two turns for either allies or enemies effect sorry um basically this is for the command uh sorry this is for the terrain effect which in return becomes the command aura so it, it lasts for two turns then after attacking you can choose to remove one of your own ally arcane glow mark terrain and then teleport Jace to that mark then this turn you will not be able to cast arcane glow mark again and do you know that arcane glow mark has a higher terrain coverage priority and this is all the skills he has so like the usual jessica class he has teleportation or possibly hind has teleportations and they have um anti-cavalry spells Meteor then has Holy Magic, um, his exclusive AoE, his exclusive 
um, act against skills. He has um, Heaven Punishment or Heaven Sanctuary, AoE, then the Tree C. So, um, the only great stuff is that he can go anti cavalry unit because of um, Lightning Strike attack. Though he do not have the single target Fireball. And all the stats you're looking at. Then this is all the type of soldiers he's able to bring. Then let's check out his 3C animations. And nope, he's not a ghost in disguise. Okay. Let's check it again, his vibrant smile. Yeah, Alright, I'm um, checking out his life stats. So, okay, he's 175 cm tall, 64 kg. Ooh. Then, his voice pack. Okay, how he sounds like when you summon him. Yo! So uh, apparently the CN server fans uh, don't really welcome or appreciate his voice. They just feel that um, the voice and his characters are just like two out of place thing mash up into one weird chimera stuff. <laughs> okay, how he sounds like um, when he changed his class. Mm. When he released his skills. So okay, something we can learn. So he said, hey Luke. Or oh, alright, Luke. Look at this. Yep. Daily conversation. Let's hear it again. Though this is definitely easier to uh, compare to the one that we gone through with ISO Dead. I mean, I already forget how she said, but this is definitely easy. Let's hear it again. Hora mite. So, hora mite means, oh well, look at this, or, um, or in more serious tone, hey, look at this. Okay, when you choose him in battle. Relax, relax. And, okay, I never believe I get to say this one day, but alright, I'm gonna teach you guys English instead of Japanese. And this video, so let's. Hear it when she's in battle. Relax, relax. He's saying in English, relax, relax. So it's not um, saying asking you to chew, though the meaning is there, but nope, he is saying relax, relax is a Japanese well slang in the did it out um, tone or slang in Japanese, but he's actually trying to say relax, relax, so because it's a very chill guy who have leave for um, either the same as ISO at the beginning of time or over a thousand years. Okay, like a f male version of Fury Ren. Alright. Relax, relax. Okay, so English language you can use on your friend when your friends are very uh, angry or vexed. You can just tell them, hey, relax, relax. <laughs> okay, that's just weird. Okay, um, when he's not able to battle. Itatata. So it looks kind of fake even when he died from battle, it just looks like he's faking his death. And it's like the fact is that um, he didn't really die. He just fake he died. Like he might he might be back before you know it. That's just cool and weird. Okay, daily conversations. When he's happy. So you can tell from most of his conversation he has been like a very happy and chilling person. But let's see how he sounds like when he's angry. Okay, 
Oh, okay. Um, I gotta say, I really appreciate this guy. Even when he's angry, he sounds like um, he sounds like someone that really loves his girlfriend. That even when his um, girlfriend or family members um, mess up something he likes, and even if he's angry, he just spoke in a more serious tone. Then like. I'm really gonna want to um, kill you or just that PR rage. He is kind of like a very grown up personality. That, that's pretty cool. Appreciate that. And when he said. Shigidana. Lodan Tachkara. You said that no Mokagega Mirunda. Eh. Horega Nakisona Kaustelte. Son of a Kenaisa Naka. And interaction, interaction conversations. One. Ado Tetsunakshanga Ita. When he's irritated, that saved any great changes. Oh, uh, even his, if he's irritated, he's just like someone who expresses his feeling normally, like no hatred, no sense of disgust. So yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Okay, special interactions. Yep, that's just weird. Um, maybe it's me. I have been liking or appreciating his voice. I'm not sure why the CN fans, um, especially the pro players, don't really quite like his voice. All right, and checking out. Um, his okay let's check out his original skin to the physics though you won't um though guys players you won't be able to see check out any things and for female players you won't be able to see any six pack or so however you get to see his cool vibrant smell my hmm? de. Okay, so he's just so super chill that um, even if the world is, is in danger, he don't he, he don't really give a too much f about it. He's just like, all right, um, just chill and relax, just save the world at your own pace. <laughs> that's like, oh gosh. Uh, but that's very cool in my opinion. Okay, this is how he looks like in his chibi characters in his default scheme. Okay, when he cast a spell. Oh, so the orb is detachable from the stick. <laughs> okay, he's gonna wamp you with the stick when he normals attack. This is how he looks up when he's running, when he's stunned, and boom, when he's dead. So we uh, definitely say he faked his death. Okay, um, let's check out his echo light scheme. This is him with his rocker guitar. Okay, again, let's appreciate um, how his 2D physics works. And all the skins are the same, so it's kind of um, not that nice, I guess. Shigidana, And looking at the skin team, I believe um, in the near future there's gonna be an event again, a musical event because previously we have Lana, Liana, Elwin, the Generation One and Two hero heroine going on the music, um, those opera music um, skin, and now we have this like a rocker style. And also, Lucretia has a, like a singer style, so maybe in the near future we're gonna get another um, music related events again. That would be nice. So, right, and before I carry on, a great appreciate to the full character design of Jace. <laughs> So okay, um, anyone who is interested in drawing characters for research purposes and also for cosplay purposes, this is 
is full drawn characters. I gotta say I like the shoes or the boots he's wearing that looks neat and also his jacket. If I get a chance I definitely want to get one. Um, yeah, that, that just looks cool and slick in my opinion. But what did you guys think? And yep, that's Jay's then. Um, this is how it looks like in Vertigo. And that is Jay, so it's slightly shorter. We will go through the demo play and because overall Jay's um is definitely like a one of the top tier hero but however he is um, more situ situational and you'll be able to find out more from what I'm trying to explain right now. So again, I urge you that if you want to know more about the skills he's having, how they work, please check out my previous video that I've done for you guys. So, all right, here we go. Relax, relax. So you can see um, all this place is a defensive terrain. Okay, you get to teleport to defensive terrain, but um, the description says five blocks. I'm gonna relax, spin relax very far away and see if this is true so you see um, the targetable range is only 5 blocks so I'm not able to it's not like as long as there is defensive terrain I can just freely teleport ok I can further prove this so I'm gonna move up then I can move on to here and this is why um, in certain map if you have a assist character that can give him speed up or teleport him like a awakener to an even further distance there's a chance that he can just teleport straight to a defensive terrain very near the enemies and you can just straight away cast either the 3c or the 2c uh, light break, uh, breaker vault, vault tanks on the enemy on first turn so depending on the map with any terrains near the enemy there's a chance that he can be tier almost tier one to zero depending on the map itself so right now i'm gonna teleport um maybe just this point then okay just showcasing you guys um the 3c And as you can see, um, the mark below right now, there's this glow mark. So I'm going to stand one block above so you guys can better see there's this glow mark. And again, do note that this is a seller show. So the stats here are kind of like almost to the top on the map. Then after you enter, you can get the teleport back. Yep. And you see, because I choose to use the teleport bag, relax, relax. the arcane glow mark disappear. Relax, relax. Relax, relax. So now I'm gonna use my 2C to jam them. So you can tell, um, so the 2C, uh, Disaster Breaker Light Vortex uh, is the command aura range is only two blocks, but um, it will reduce the magic defense. And if they try to move, um, supposedly it should cause them an additional movement steps. So just now the bat should be able to move one, two, three, four, five, but right now it's only able to move one, two, three. So first time he moves is within, then so one, two, yep. So it's only able to move um, two to three blocks. So yeah. Wakata, wakata. Mm. Oh gosh, I'm not able to do anything. Relax, 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 relax. So okay, I'm gonna end my turn. Wakata, wakata. So right now my. So okay, my egg against kills. Okay, that's pretty neat. Um, CDs is three turn after casting is two turn. So now I'm 
able to teleport. You can see the enemy has this marking. So they have their defense, magic defense reduced by this much. Okay, I'm not gonna teleport this time now. So you can see, um, as a mage, he is very vulnerable to close combat. Then on this map, a King Glow map, so you can see the command aura. Two blocks allies will have attack intelligence increased by 10% and enemies will have magic defense reduced by 10%. So it's being shown here. So if I want to increase my 3C damage, best is um, I try to leave more mark. So now I have 3 and sadly my... Okay, because of the passive, it is able to affect um, everyone. And just teleport. This one I already received my max 30%. Deluxe, 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 and because I'm trying to create as much damage as I can, so I'm going to leave more Arcane Glow more. And sending two blocks around it so I can, well, increase attack and in return damage. So that's it for Jay. So I think um, this first play is not that nice. Let's quickly go through it again. The proper method to go through this stage. So, also take note that he's not able to teleport to um, locations like Pila. Only normal defensive terrain. So, this is some downsides. So, the worst map. For him to be at is at the sky sky terrain. Okay, I hope I can do it right um this time now. So you can see, wow, the range is pretty big. Oh, it's five range, so as you can see, it's pretty neat. So I'm gonna stand to this closer direction so I can engage with one of the bats earlier on. And the other I'm gonna leave another mark so I can gain 30% damage. While stuck into of the Frankenstein here. So yeah, relax, relax, guys. So he's actually um cool to use, but um definitely de depending on the map and terrain location you're standing on. So as you can see, two of them are is gone. Um, you gotta be good at it. Deluxe, 
Hey, since I can stay here, I'm gonna create um, another mod. Hora, mite. Wakatta, wakatta. And all right, I'm gonna do this. Let's um, sub them Hora, in again. Oh gosh, look at the thirty percent has been building. As you can see, the downside is that um, the Vortex um, only basically just suck them in and reduce their magic defense, but um, it don't really, really damage them. So take note. And it only lasts for one turn. Um, so yeah, that's it for Jay's demo play. Um, it's just a very straightforward and simple um, character to use. He's very great to use because he has long range. Then you top it up with um, Scepter, be it for single target or his range attack. That's going to be very useful. Then um, I also managed to summon him because um, he unlocks the defense bonds of... I saw that and just check out the build um, he's supposed to have. Okay, where are you, my Jays? Yep, Jays. So I have not personally unlocked all his stats, so I'm gonna be only able to share with you guys um, how others has actually built him. So the usual scepter, ten your dress, ten your headdress. Then oh, this is definitely um, yep. Uh, this old accessories is definitely useful to him because um, this old effect is elemental impact. The effect because um, this accessories give you intelligence, and not to mention that when you initiate attack and go into battle, if the skills you use is effective against enemies hero the damage you do will have an increment of 10% so combining with his arcane glow mark the maximum you can stack up to is 40% damage increment and because his 3c effect is effective against non mage class so that's basically everything but mage so this has been a very effective items and definitely um, as of this current meta because there's casting to level 10 you do not really need um, twilight now in a lot of case so in case guys, you guys are wondering uh, okay you can still play with twilight but um, personally I feel that the, f um, the, I the first item build is definitely better Then if you want to go for more attack, you can go with Full Moon. So again, we have Breeze, and now we have Full Moon to boost up his attack. So you can see the couples of different build, and there is more of this with Scepter. So okay, most people are going with Breeze, so they can do the um, movement oppression. And not to mention that um, because the teleportation is five blocks, so the faster you can move further, you are able to teleport to the five block defensive terrain range and commence your attack on the enemy. So yeah, Breeze is definitely the priority choice. However, if you're playing your defensive formations, the one that you don't have to um, rush up to enemies uh, Full Moon might be a better choice then again for PvE if you want to go with Claw um, you can however as you can see the CD of his skills overall are not that long so definitely suggest to go with either Full Moon or Breeze Hey, this is definitely uh, a, a mashup build. Do not follow this. OK, 
Okay, there is Cloud, but as you can see, the ranking is um, falling towards the end. So overall, if you're going for PvP, Breeze and Full Moon, um, if PvE, yeah, it's okay to go with Clock, so that you can just keep enjoy your spam. So, oh, okay, even this item, um, Dimension Jewel, so if you want to keep spamming your skills, fighting for a chance to reduce the CD, then, um, and you don't want to play Clock because you want to maximize your attack or damage by going Breeze or Full Moon, um, Dimension Jewel might be the better choice. So that's it for Jace. What did you guys think? Did you think it's good, strong? normal or bad leave it down in the comment section below this is Kami thank you remember to like and subscribe if you like this video see you guys on the next video goodbye